if you've ever played a game that's even remotely multiplayer, then you've definitely heard about the concept of trading with other players. It's pretty simple. You just swap your stuff with other people's stuff because they just so happen to have the thing that you're looking for, and vice versa. You can find somebody who wants your used trash in exchange for their used trash, which for you is actually something directly sent from the heavens themselves. Animal Crossing is no exception to this. When headlines were made surrounding Nukazon back in April and how it's the Animal Crossing version of Amazon, it gained some traction. Nukazon, for those of you who don't know already, is a site where you can trade with other players in the Animal Crossing community. It's totally fan-made, which means Nintendo can't be pointed at by the five-year-olds for encouraging scammers on their site. But we'll get to that. Nukazon is still thriving, with players still trading every single day. However, there's a risk that people take when they do trade, and that is being caught out by scammers. I thought I would test my luck. I wanted to see if I could get myself scammed. <laughs> Which sounds really weird to say out loud. <laughs> so, this was the plan. I looked at listings that I thought people would deem scam worthy, and I sorted the listings by user rating, which you know, you'll get the best ones on top and the uh, not so good ones at the bottom. Boo, you stink! My theory is that the guys who have not even 5 stars, people who don't have 5 stars are dodgy, and that's what I was looking for. For the most part it was quite difficult to find people who didn't have good reviews because Nukazon isn't full of um, complete trash. I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. People are on there to help other players or to earn their own money. And even still, there were quite a lot of people who did have like one star, two stars, but they hadn't posted since like May. <sighs> I did this for two nights straight. It quickly did come to my attention when doing this that people generally scam over villagers, which kind of makes sense because they're worth a lot. I'm finding it really difficult to get scammed. So I think if you end up getting scammed, that is highly unlucky. Or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places. As I was scrolling for hours on ends, seeing the same Mr. Beast advert. <laughs> what do they look like? The quality is like in 144p. The heavens gave me a sign. Somebody, after hours of searching, had finally come back to me. So the most recent person that I inquired about has just come back to me. So first of all, he wants my dodo code in addition to me giving him money and Nickmar tickets. And I think this is a one of the guys that has bad reviews because he runs around your islands. I've kind of had that before, so you know, it's not too much of a big deal. And plus, like, I don't really take this game seriously anymore. I really don't. I can't take it anymore. We're about to expose this fool. Or not, because he, he actually does have decent reviews as well. He's not actually that bad. So let's let's see. Let's see what he does. He wants to come to my island. That's already pulling up a few red flags on my half. Feeling like the FBI right now. What's he giving me again? A rocket lamp. <laughs> I'm this is way overpriced. Well, I offered it, so... That L on my pot. Right, I'm waiting for, uh, for this guy. Let's see what the reviews are again. He's the first person I've actually got a response from, so... So it was a 5 star trade, but he put it down to 1 because items were taken without permission. The trade, and he asked to look around my islands, but I lost track of him. Started running around my island without asking. Gave me the wrong version of the item I wanted and started running around my island afterwards. This, my man is insane. He is wild. Well, everything else seems to be, I, I guess it's quite 
because a lot of people are saying it was quick and easy, which is the sounded like, oh yeah, the trade was fine. You earned a bronze medal. I had a talk with a trader about trade etiquette. I'm leaving four stars because they seem quite interesting in, in learning and I hope they'll improve. I mean, that's the kind of wholesomeness you expect from Animal Crossing. So I got my dodo code and waited and waited. Who wants a lawn chair? I don't want a lawn chair. Adrian, hey, do you want a lawn chair? I'm gonna sit. It's a chair. Oh my god, he's sitting! I didn't expect that! 20 minutes later. Uh, a lot of things that I see in common of these dodgy sellers is that they do take a while. <laughs> Even though they're the one who initiates the trade in the first place. Uh. Okay, guy, it has been half an hour. <laughs> I guess this is to be expected. Anybody who doesn't have like a five star review on Nukazon, instant trash in the bin. Yeah, the guy didn't show up, so that's that's a great start. This video is totally not going to be a mess, I was thinking to myself. So my plan for scammer number one was instantly thrown in the bin. So alas, I had to keep looking. And boy, it's already hard enough in itself finding active scammers online on Nukazon. So yes again, for what felt like hours and hours upon hours, but then the clouds parted and gave me a ray of sunshine for a second person had contacted me back. And this time, this was the worst seller I had seen because they only had one star to their name. We take a look at this guy real quick and his reviews. There's only two of them and they're both one star. So I'm kind of excited and a bit scared. Moment of truth, is he gonna scam me? If he doesn't scam me, scam me. If he doesn't scam me, I'll give him five stars. The trade was going pretty normally. Okay, so far this seems pretty normal. What are they saying? I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so far this seems really normal. Like, this is just the standard thing that happens. <laughs> Very standard stuff. Do you want to look around? There was literally nothing wrong with this trade. So, all the dialogue after we traded, I was very, very on edge. Until... <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. No, to be honest, I'm probably not going to play with this guy. I'm not even on Animal Crossing much anymore these days. I didn't get scammed. This guy has one star, right? All he wants is a friend. You guys better calm down, you know? Look, I didn't get scammed. My island is fine. I got what I wanted. I didn't get scammed. <laughs> the person had one star to their name, and yet they didn't scam me. But alas... My plans were foiled again, so I decided to go to sleep and try again the next day. Yeah, the next day wasn't that successful either. In fact, nothing happened. Nobody contacted me. But that doesn't exactly mean that scammers don't exist. I think I have actually been scammed once, but I, I'm not sure. Here's the story. So one day, I'm selling my crafting services for a golden watering can because I had the recipe and I wanted to craft out of my own goodwill the people who had the materials but didn't have the recipe. And I get this person inquiring and they're like, hi, yeah, can I have a, a golden watering can please? And I'm like, great, do you have the materials? And she's like, yes, yes I do. So I give her my dodo code and then the moment she steps foot on my island, she literally forgets to speak English. I say to her, hey, can I have the materials? And she's like, I speak French, I don't speak English. And I'm like, my guy, we were just speaking English on Nukuzon, like two minutes ago. How did you suddenly forget to speak English? Basically, I had to use a lot of my own materials. She did give me some. I had to use multiple of my own materials so I can give somebody else a gold ring watering can. You know, at the time, I didn't think that was a scam. I thought it was just somebody why didn't I think that was a scam? That was totally a scam. So scammers do exist. You know, people who run around your islands and cause havoc, yes, they exist. So I think I had somebody steal some Nookmar tickets from me before as well. Um, so these people do exist, but apparently not when you're actively looking for them. I do want to catch one on camera. I really do. He's interested. I'll make a part two at some point. 
But yeah, moral of the story is I got lucky that I didn't get scammed. Just don't go on lookers on. Cause I'm, I'm tired. <laughs>